Today we are covering Databricks Certified Data Engineer Associate. To find the complete list of questions and answers, please go to the playlist link provided in the description. If you like this content, do like, share and subscribe to this channel. Question is, a new data engineering team has been assigned to work on a project. The team will need access to database customers in order to see what tables already exist. The team has its own group team. Which of the following commands can be used to grant the necessary permission on the entire database to the new team? Option A. Grant view on catalog customers to team. Option B. Grant create on database customers to team. Option C. Grant uses on catalog team to customers. Option D. Grant create on database team to customers. Option E. Grant uses on database customers to team. Correct answer is option E. Next question is a data engineer only wants to execute the final block of a Python program if the Python varies day underscore of underscore week is equal to 1 and the python variable review underscore period is true. Which of the following control flow statements should the data engineer use to begin this conditionally executed code block? Now see the options as option A, B, C, D and option E. Correct answer is option C. Next question is, a data engineer is attempting to drop a Spark SQL table, my underscore table. The data engineer wants to delete all table metadata and data. They run the following command. Drop table if exists my underscore table. While the object no longer appears, when they run so tables, the data files still exist. Which of the following describes why the data files still exist and the metadata files were deleted? Option A. The table's data was larger than 10 GB. Option B. The table's data was smaller than 10 GB. Option C. The table was external. Option D. The table did not have a location. Option E. The table was managed. Correct answer is option C.